after many months of will they won't they with the scythe and them adding it into cold war it's finally been officially released and we can finally get it dark aether now this does come with a very bittersweet taste because this might be the very last weapon added into cold war so it might be the last weapon we get dark aether here on my main account so we have the scythe right here i got this leveled up on stream shot at those of you that come by the streams and watch me get these things leveled up but i went ahead and i bought the bundle for it uh if you want to get this thing leveled up you have to get 200 kills with a melee weapon primary melee weapon so i don't think the crystal axe counts uh while insta kill is active and i think the best way to do this is playing onslaught because you have a way better chance of getting insta kill in there than you do in round base but there's the unlock challenge for it in zombies and i think it's get two kills with like ninja and 15 different games in multiplayer so whichever one you want to do. But I did get this thing leveled up only playing multiplayer. That means I have absolutely zero camos for this thing. Absolutely nothing done. Not a single kill in zombies with it. So we're going to be seeing how it does in zombies today, as well as getting a dark aether. So we need to get 750 kills with it. Should be easy enough. We need to get 50 melee kills with the scythe while enemies are stunned or distracted. We need to get 750 kills with it while it's pack a punch. 15 kills with it in ring of fire while enemies are affected by frost blast or you're an aether shroud. A uh, 10 special or elite elimination should be easy enough 10 kills rapidly 10 times not that bad in the bane of my existence the jackrabbit medals the getting 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit 10 times now normally for my attachments for this i put the ball sack on there the little sack of the three basketballs but i'm not seeing the charm i think they might have removed it am i stupid let me know if you guys see it in in my list of charms here but i'm not seeing it they might have removed it Oh, well, it's either ball sack or none. So I'm not putting one on, but I'm going to go ahead and throw on Aether Shroud here until we get that camo done. Then I'll probably switch to Tesla Storm and the map we're going to be playing on is Mauer. So let's go ahead, hop in and try to get this thing done. All right, here we go. Getting dropped off here on the rooftop for what might be our very last Dark Aether on this account. It's very sad to think about. I hope they add more guns. Maybe there's some more that, you know, they've thrown in there that they kind of forgot to release and we'll still be able to get some more but this might be our very last weapon but either way we're about to slice apart some zombies so let's have some fun with it the swing speed on this don't seem too bad it's not very fast it's not very slow it's not gonna beat out an e-tool or a knife or the wakasashi or anything but it's not that bad of a melee weapon and really quick does the inspect animation on the scythe let me go ahead and turn off that flashlight Looks very nice. Bring it kind of close to the face. Get to actually see what the blade looks like. Give it a little touch and a little flick. Not a bad looking weapon. All right, let's work on our jackrabbits early and often. The further we get into this game, the harder they're going to be. So I'm going to try my best not to get hit in these early rounds here. Okay, I got two zombies and one swing there. It's looking like it might be able to take out more than one. I don't know the max amount, but so far, two. Grab our loose change from Tombstone. And I think I'll stay here for like one maybe two more rounds get some points so i can make my way through the map i think this might be the most controversial weapon to drop into cold war oh no i got hit yeah, i got hit again man well there goes whatever jackrabbit we we're working on but for whatever reason the scythe has been added and taken out of this game many many times whether it was for the operator or whatever i'm not going to get too into it but i'm just glad that it's finally been added it's been a while since i've been able to do a, a weapon on this main account you know re regardless of all the controversy and everything it's just it's nice to have some something new here in cold war it's been a minute there's our corrosion camo first camo of many oh i got hit right there on the last swing I need to tighten up. I think we might have enough money to go down and get our first fuse. Let's start making our way over there. Can't forget the loose change on the way. Definitely need that. Grab this loose change as well. And we're on our way down. Get hurtled. Where are you at, Tempest? I want to see what the scythe can do against you. There it is. What's going on, pal? Go ahead, shoot your shot. Sleep. Oh, wait. Okay, you dodged it. Quick little two shot on him. We got our stroke camo from it. And some progress towards some special or elites. Just need nine more now. All right, now that that fuse taken care of, let's work towards getting our second one. Train, you ain't gonna hit me, so I don't even try it, pal. Yeah, a little late. This map is so ridiculously dark without that flashlight. I, I kind of like it. It adds a, a whole layer of ambiance to this map. I wish it stayed this dark with power on. I wish there was a way to do it. Let's fl flick on the switch. Break the fuse, put on our fixed one. And let's go ahead and grab our last fuse. I'm going to Aether Shroud right at him so he can't hit me and ruin my Tesla Storm. I think he actually did hit me. And by Tesla Storm, I meant my Jackrabbit. Electricity got me confused. And let's get this power on. There we go. Zombie, get out of my way. I need to go get Pack-a-Punch turned on now. What's going on, fellas? Lovely weather we're having. Let's start this up. Disciple, you can charge him up all you want. You're about to be sleep in a few seconds. 
There we go. It was a one-shot kill on the disciple. Bitch made. You got slammed. And let's waste no time getting pack a punch. There we go. Ooh, this thing looks nice. Hold on. Here's the pack punch of one camo here on Maurer with the scythe. This thing looks good. The camo coverage on this weapon is amazing. I can't wait to see it with Dark Aether. You know what? We got a nice little group of zombies here. Let's Aether Shroud. Throw down a decoy. And then try to rack up some camos that way. So there's three kills while in Aether Shroud. Got a few more there too. We're at six. Nine. And our 10 kills rapidly. Let's go. And a level up. We're getting everything right now. And a level 42. Anything else? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, Wonder Fizz. I'm going to need you. First zombie, get out of here. Let's grab Speed Cola. Oh, wait. You get out of here as well. Let's grab Speed Cola. I know it's kind of crazy. We're grabbing Speed Cola using a melee weapon, but it does help us get our Aether Shroud a lot faster. And then we can get that camo out of the way and move on to doing anything else. And this has got to be like the best spot for melee weapons in the game, I think. Just sitting right here. The zombies all crawl up one by one. You can even go down and train just to make sure that they all come up from this spot and not from these two spawns. And it's just easy kills. They can't get you. They can't even touch you. you. Just sit here and swing. And what else should we grab? First, get out of here. Is there more? Damn, a lot of zombies in this round. Uh, this is tough. Might as well get death perception. That way we can start getting some scrap. We get those decoys and that, them stuns built. Also be able to upgrade our armor a little faster. No, I fell! Oh! The lunge of the scythe just pulled me off the top rope. Rip whatever jackrabbit I was working on. But that's fine. Probably better that we come down here and start working on our Aether Shroud kills before we start camping up there. All right, let's do it. Come here. Give me some camos, please. There's our boutique camo. And I think we're just a few kills away from getting our last Aether Shroud camo. There we go. All right, no, that's extortion. I just extorted those zombies. And there's our maniac camo, our manic. I don't know which one it is, honestly. I have a very low reading level. But that does mean that we can switch our field upgrade. So let's go ahead and get Tesla Storm. And if you find gentlemen want to drop me a decoy or a stun, even a monkey bomb, it'd be very helpful if you did. Got our contamination camo. So we're at 10 kills or 20 kills without getting hit. Six times out of 10. That's not bad. We're already like more than halfway there with our jackrabbits. But we got to start crafting some stuff that can help us out. Let's get these stuns going. Oh, maybe I should have grabbed Mule Kick before I bought those. We could have got the buy one, get one. But maybe I'll grab it right now. It's so crazy that all these perks, like their main purpose, does not help us at all. It's all the, the secondary stuff you get with it. It's all their tier upgrades that are the most helpful. What else can help us out here? Uh, let's get stamina up. We're going to be running around a whole lot. Oh, we got a Panzer. I don't know why I always forget they're on this map. They're definitely not as scary as BO2, but these guys are annoying. They just be hopping around, hitting you with a flamethrower. Enough of that. You need to go to bed. There's a three-shot kill on a Panzer. Try harder next time, Panzer. Let's try to get a nice little group of zombies here so we can start hitting them with these stuns. I want to get our distracted kills out of the way so we don't got to worry about them. Now let's try it. Get stunned. Stun myself so whatever jackrabbit we're working on is chalked. Okay, let's hit this. We'll stun them again. We can rack up some points while we're going through these kills as long as Tesla Storm isn't the one killing them. There we go. Now we're at 20. Damn, and we're racking up the camos. We just got our kills rapidly and our degeneration camo for pack-a-bunch kills. Oh, Disciple. That's music to my ears. Come down here. I got a few special or elites that need to die for this challenge. There we go. We're on to glitch. We're already at eight jackrabbit medals. That's kind of crazy. Hey, let's, let's behave here, zombies. I just need you guys to get in a nice big pack so I can stun you all. That's it. Might kill you two after, but, you know, don't, don't pay attention to that. There you go. Get stunned. Give me these kills. Get another stun. I only got a few of them. Let's try to get them before they get unstunned. We're already at 30. We need 20 more distracted kills. That's not bad. We're not far away. And we're getting all of our kills rapidly. This guy's stuck standing up. What's going on, buddy? You good? You all right? There you go. Might as well grab Jug and Quick Revive. You know, just in case. I wonder if Tesla Storm counts for the stunned and distracted. I don't think so, but it'd be cool if it did. Definitely helps with our jackrabbits, though. All right, let's get our decoys back. Or we're using decoys this time instead of stuns. That way we don't lose out on our jackrabbit progress. Just in case we stun ourselves. And once I'm done with that stunned and distracted camo, I'm putting Shatter Blast on this bad boy. And we're getting things done. Oh, Disciple. Nice try, pal. Better luck next time. Just instantly got slammed on the decoy. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks for complying. Oh, it looks like we're getting a few kills with every swing. I couldn't count how many. It kind of looked like four there. There's our threshold camo. We're very close to getting this done. If there's 10 zombies in this pack, we'll get it. Let's try. Get on the decoy for me. So let's see. I just got three kills with one swing. Four there. 
Oh yeah, the site's kind of nasty. And there's our banish camo. All done with those. Time to throw on Shadow Blast for this and breeze through the rest of these camos. I'm saying we could get this done before round 26. That's, that's what I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. Dark Aether before round 26. You heard it here first. Let's Tesla storm these bad boys. Yeah, stay still. Get Shatter Blast too while you're at it. Our Downfall Camo, 250 kills while it's packed. And Conviction, we're all done with our Jackrabbits. It's literally just kills from this point on. Kills and Elite kills. If more Elites want to spawn, that'd be fantastic. This is such an underrated map in this game. I really didn't get his time in the, in the light because there's like a one month difference between this map coming out and Forsaken, but... I think this might be my favorite map in this game. You know, ignoring my my bias for Firebase Z and all the camel grinding I did on there. And let's go ahead and grab pack two on this while we have enough money. This is what it looks like pack punch two. Very nice. Camels on this map are great. Coverage on this weapon is great. Can't go wrong. This Panzer's about to go wrong though. He came to the wrong neighborhood. Oh, he's getting two tapped now? He did even worse this time. Come on. You gotta try a lot harder than that, Panzer. All right, this disciple's getting stunned on. Oh, the 360 swing. I wish a body was on the ground for the disciple so I could put my nuts in its mouth. It needs to be teabagged after getting shit on that bad. Oh, also just now noticing it, the pack punch name is called the Soul Harvester. Makes sense considering the scythe is carried mostly or where I see it by the Grim Reaper. Shout out Billy and Mandy. Also shout out Shatter Blast. Holy shit. Just killed 400 zombies in one swing. Most OP ammo mod in this game. And let's round out our perks with some elemental pop. Maybe a little PhD slider. Deadshot. Why not? Tombstone. Do something different. Maybe I'll buy you first. I've been swinging on the scythe for a pretty decent amount of time. There we go. There's our bloodshed camo. That's 500 kills. They're only 250 away. Pack-a-punch kills can't be that far behind. We got pack-a-punch pretty early into this game. We should probably go repair our armor though. Armor level two, armor level three. There we go. Don't quite have enough to get it to gold, but purple's doing us just fine for now. So another Panzer out here. Why don't you come on up here and let's have a conversation. One, a two, a three. Oh wait, a three. There we go. Get fucking Tootsie Roll popped, bitch. Oh yeah, this swing speed is definitely not what you want in a melee weapon. This is kind of slow. But it does have the, the little effect to get more than one zombie in a swing. So maybe it balances out. But I, don't, I personally don't think so. All right, 500 kills while it's packed. There's a disciple right here that wants to get killed. There's another one that wants to get killed. And I'm down. What? Huh? Maybe I just was not paying attention. I don't think I should have went down there. That's unfortunate. I was going for a perfect game. I got a little overzealous going for those disciple kills. Yeah, this time when I go for the kill, I'm going to have Tesla Storm active. I think Tesla Storm might have just killed my, uh, my little disciple there, which is unfortunate. That's one less special we won't be able to get. Our special or elite challenge. Maybe I should change my, my field upgrade. Panzer, nice of you to show up again, pal. One, two, three. Oh, you got more health this time. That's scary. There we go. Got the kill on him. I hope that counted. I have not seen a special or elite camo pop up in a while. Maybe I should just stop using Tesla Storm. I feel like it's taking my kills away. Let's do that. Let's switch. Uh, what should we go with? Aether Shroud? We'll just go back to Aether Shroud. Why not? Oh, we got enough to get this pack three. Let's do it. Why not? This is what the scythe looks like. Pack a bunch three. Pretty nice. But this pack a bunch three camo, I, you guys probably heard my complaints about it before. I really like it when it's just a full purple like this and the gold. But then it kind of just switches into some like green, brown. It's just like poop colors. Don't fuck with it that much. There's our rotten camo all done with kills now. Disciple, come here. Add you onto the list of special or elites. I think we might be done with that. I feel like I've killed five, maybe four special or elites since our last camo that popped up. We got to be done with those. It's got to be just pack-a-punch now. But, but here comes the, the self-doubt where I don't remember all the melee weapon camos. Uh, do, you, do you think despite doing every single one of them on two accounts, I would remember all the challenges and their amounts, but every single time I've forgotten midway through. And then I just start doing everything over again, thinking that I forgot something. So we're going to see. Isn't that right, Disciple? Uh-oh. We're one round away from my prediction. We got to get it done like right now. Oh, a little mangler buddy. I forgot about you guys. It's a unique cast of characters on this map. Oh, no. Don't destroy them. Tower, stop hitting them. There we go. The guard tower almost took our special elite kill away from us. Oh, there's gold viper. We got it. Let's go. We did end up getting it before round 26. All of our pack-a-punch kills are done. We made it. Let's try to get through this round and then let's exfil. Oh, actually, let's get this insta-kill going and try to unlock the scythe. There we go. All right, I'm running down to the radio. All right, we started the exfil. Let's get out of here. This has got to be the longest run towards the exfil in this game. Every other map is so much faster to get to the point. This got to go up like 
14 ropes. I guess it gives them time to get set up here so we can actually get on. What's going on, zombies? Here's an idea. Why doesn't everybody just uh, fuck off collectively? Get on the decoy and Shatter Blast will show up eventually. Hopefully. Maybe. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of you, huh? Get on that. Keep it moving. And we're all done. Damn, they all got slammed. We'll grab our loose change on the way out. And thanks for the ride, pal. All right, our final stats for that game. 1,200 or 1,029 illumination, 327 crits. Don't know how you get crits with a melee. No revives and one down. Not bad. We got out of 25 rounds too. Very fast. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what the scythe looks like with the zombies mastery camos on it. Here is golden viper. That actually looks really good. This is one of the better looking weapons with gold viper. It's a little hard to see the actual gold on it, but you can tell the pattern from here. It actually goes on the wrap and on the whole blade. It looks pretty nice. It looks pretty snazzy. Here is plague diamond. Also very good. The diamonds on the wrap. I don't know how they get diamonds to go on some, what is that fabric? It looks pretty cool. Blade all studded out, whole shafts that purple, pretty sick. And what we've been waiting for, the Dark Aether. This thing looks nasty. That's dirty. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like in game with Dark Aether. All right, this is what the scythe looks like in game with Dark Aether. This thing looks sick. I mean, we are kind of on a bad pattern here. We can't see too much of the purple. It's starting to come in now on the blade. This thing looks nice. Really like the touch on the wrap there. And even on the, the little screws holding the blade in up there on the top or Dark Aether. That's gorgeous. That's such a cool looking weapon. I'm glad they finally added it into the game. We've been waiting forever for this thing. And it's finally here and we got it done. But there you have it. We got the Scythe Dark Aether. That could be our very last Dark Aether for this main account. We still have a few things to do on our PlayStation account, which we will be getting done in the coming weeks. But that that could have been the very end here for Cold War. Uh, let me know if you guys think there's going to be any more weapons going to be added and what you think they're going to be. Uh, if you guys like the scythe, if you think it's a good melee weapon, you think it's kind of bottom tier, I kind of think it's like right in the middle. But I think that's where we're going to end today's video. So if you guys like this video and you want to see more, go and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please so subscribe and put out all kinds of content kind of throughout the week. If you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links to those are in the description below, as well as a link to our Discord that you can go ahead and join. Also, if you're looking for some more zombies content, you can check out some of my BO3 custom map videos. I put out two recently. They've been pretty funny. I really like them. I just hit my mic at the same time. So check it out over there. But that's it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.